Hey, Pure Remy team, money, power, respect. This is Miss Indigo Blue here for training number two. So we are managing our business so that it's easy for the world to find your exact business on the World Wide Web. So last week we finished up with GoDaddy and creating our domain names. So if you watch that video and you got your 99 cent domain, drop your domain name down in the comments below. We're gonna continue on utilizing our domain to keep our look professional. So if you don't remember, or if you haven't seen training number one, please watch it before watching training number two. Acquiring a domain is essential to being able to use Zoho. So this is what GoDaddy looks like when you're logged in. And we're gonna go back to the section where we left off and how I all of the domains that I have are here and you can see the ones that are getting ready to expire are in red because it's like within 90 days so they've turned red and um, last week I showed you how to not buy too many Ivy Flawless we turned into hair.ibflawless.com instead of oops ibflawlesshair.info um, and ibflawlesshair.com we have travel.ibfellows.com. I'll click on it now so that we can see all of those and then we'll be in the same spot where we left off last week. So we're gonna click manage connection. This is still the GoDaddy website. And then we had last week created our subdomains so that our website can be forwarded to different places. So that would take you here. And the place where we're going to work today is the DNS zone file. So we're going to go back to Zoho and we're going to log in. When you log in, you create a user account just like you do on any other website. And you can do the two factor authentication. I don't have it right now, so I click remind me later. But you can see here, there's tons of different things you can do with Zoho. For me, I really have only used the mail and I've either used a form or a doc. I think it was a form. So doc is gonna be more like word stuff. Forms are gonna be something that you can use for you, you create it and then other people can create responses to it. And it'll come to your email that you have responses. I can't remember how many email boxes Zoho limits you to when you first sign up. I'll try to find that information and post it. Um, but this is pretty much what I use it for. You can create websites here, like the website that I showed you last week's video. You can do that here. Um, this is a slideshow spreadsheet. So we're doing things like PowerPoint and Excel comparably um, sales IQ it does allow you to do accounting and all types of business things here got your calendar your click I think this is a messenger and this is connect is to connect you to your social media so you can do like a ton of stuff oh this one is the social media the emblem kind of look the same and then I've not used all of those so we're just gonna focus on mail today so when you click on mail and you've already created your account, it's going to take you to, of course, your inbox. And so that works like any other inbox, except for they do have newsletters and notifications from Zoho Mail down here, Zoho Mail newsletter. But um, here there's newsletter and notification. So if someone's sending a newsletter, it does go to a separate box normally than the inbox. So that's just a heads up. But um I'm logged in here, Miss Indigo Blue. And so what you would first do is go to your control panel. Now, of course, it's going to prompt you to first create your initial mailbox. Um, and once you get your initial mailbox going, then you are the um, manager of this 
web address. So first you have to say the name of your web address and then you go to your GoDaddy and you do um, go back and forth a little bit showing you showing that you are the owner or you are the person who has created this website because GoDaddy is still the owner. And then it will allow you to then create users. So the first thing you would do, if this was not filled in, we would have put in the link to our website through GoDaddy at www.ibfollis.com. You see here it's already been verified that we got the mail going in the MX records. Now these two things are not going. I'm not that computer savvy. So I don't know exactly what those mean, but I think those are for domains that you actually own so you can do some more specific stuff. And if it's not and you know what it is, let me know. So it tells you that you need to verify your domain. That's where you would click and verify your domain. <coughs> and then that check mark box becomes uh, marked. Um, and you can even host your domain Wait a minute. <laughs> Once you complete the verification of the do domain, then you can host your email with Zoho and get at your name at your domain.com email address. So this just helps you to look that much more professional. So everything looks the same, whether you're doing hair, whether you're doing makeup, whether you're selling candles, whether you are promo, whether you're a model, you already have your domain name and people can go to your website like they do mine I have the landing page there and they can click to get to anything connected to me from the landing page um, but if this person is someone who I know specifically is not interested in makeup and I want to send them specifically to my travel website for instance then this way I can give them a direct link to that where they don't have to go the other route. Especially if there's someone who I already know and I already have their contact information, I don't need to send them to my landing page. So you're just gonna simply follow the steps. So email hosting um, steps. First, you're gonna have to, one, add imp or import users to create mail accounts. And then you can create and configure groups and then you go to modify your MX record and that's gonna be where your domain it's is hosted over, at. But this, but it's still okay. And so that's with GoDaddy or whoever you signed up with. So you're gonna go to user details and you can see my users here. And um, you just click add user, name, last name if you wish, what email, ID you want them to be so maybe we're gonna set up a box for our influencers to contact us so we just do influencer um, influencer management <laughs> and so if there's someone who you are working with who is promoting your products you definitely want to be able to be in straight contact with them if they have any questions about your product if your product hasn't arrived on time because those are the people who you definitely want to make sure that they don't have you don't want anyone let's get that straight to have any customer service issues but you definitely don't want your influencers having customer service service issues so would you just create a passcode And then if it's someone who, who's not you that's going to be using this email address because you see that I have several on there and it's because I use a different one for each line of products that I have. Um, but if it were just you and your organization or your business and then you wanted to set up email address for everyone, then you do that here. So when you do that and it's going to be someone outside you might want to click force the user to change their password during the first login so that and, and just create them a generic one and tell them what it is so that they can get in it and then you can shoot them an email at their 
current email address and let them know that you got their email set up um, by clicking here. Okay, so now we see we have a new um, user down here and we can click on this user to edit their profile. We already got this information in there, but we can say whether it's a male or a female, add their address, telephone number in here, and then upload a photo for our influencer. Then you would click OK. And then that influencer management email address is all set. So you can see here that because we've already established everything else that the lights were green. The lights would not be green if we hadn't done the steps. So the next steps are here on GoDaddy. So this is where we created app.ibflawless.com, hair.ibflawless.com, the website, hairbiz.ibflawless.com. That's what we did last week. So now that we've done that, we want to set up our email to be received. So the first thing that they're going to, that they told us to do, sorry, it was here, is to fix our MX record. So we added a user. If we wanted to make a group, we could have. So now we're going to go. And modify our MX record. So you click on MX record and it tells you um, for each provider that they work with the exact instructions. So Shopify, Register.com, Yahoo, Squarespace, all these different ones. So of course we used GoDaddy so we're gonna go to GoDaddy. So you've already logged in you go to my account and domains and you expand the domain and you click manage DNS so let's do that we're gonna go back a little bit to manage domain So you choose which domain you want to use if you have more than one. See what their instructions say. Wrong one. Domains, manage DNS. And the DNS manager page will come up. So I think I did that wrong. Let's see. Domains. All domains. We're working with ibflawless.com. It's already done, so it's probably looking a little different. All right, so then we already forwarded all of those websites, and we are we would be adding the items that were listed there on the other page. So, select MX from the type. So, let's go to add and act as if we were doing it. So we would do MX as a type. And then it said to put at in the host and whatever website that they have listed. So when we were here, it said for MX.Zoho, MX2.Zoho, MX3.Zoho, and to do 10, 20, and 50. So you would do that at here, MX Zoho here, and then 10, 20, or 50, and then click save. So I hope that makes sense without me doing it. I'm going to show you it's right here, MX, 
at MX1, MX2, MX3, priority 10, 20, 50. Okay, so that is in there and that would be all set. We're going to try and fix that SPF. All right, so we did all of that. And now it's pointing to our records. So now we got the MX signed up. Then it says we highly recommend your SPF record be set up for your domain. I already had that open. Let's close this one. And so configure SPF records for Zoho Mail. The valid SPF record that needs to be published are provided below. So you simply just copy what they have. And you can also publish the SPF record that uses all instead of squiggle all. However, in some cases it may result in delivery problems. To my knowledge, I haven't had any delivery pro problems. Steps to add the SPF. Log into your GoDaddy. Select my account, Domains Manage DNS. We're already there. The DNS manager page will open. You scroll down to records and then click add. So let's try and go back a page. We're canceling out of that one. We're going to go down here again to the bottom to manage DNS. And we want records. Hmm. Now for me, I would have been going, okay, what did I do wrong? Let me see. So you just go back and read the steps. Manage DNS. Scroll down to the records section and click add. So we were at records. I just skipped it. <laughs> So we're going to click add and then this is for the txt host and then that that we just copied on there. So if we were doing that here, there we go, that's why we closed that one. So we would select txt, put the at, paste this in, and hit save. So it's already up here. Where is my txt? It's in alphabetical order, so they're going to be on the next page. And you see that this one is here. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is the SPF. And we're really going to do this one because I haven't actually gotten it to work before. So, Sender Policy Framework, commonly known as SPF, is a text record associated with the domain to identify the server's permitted to send emails using the particular domain name. The SPF record to be added for domain hosted with Zoho is provided below. You may need to include additional IP addresses after Zoho.com. Okay, so here's the steps. Zoho mail account. You want to log in as the administrator, which we've already done. In the control panel, select SPF selection from the left pane. So we're going to go to Zoho. We are already as the administrator. Let me just click on mail. And then we should be able to go to the control panel. No. So now we want to see how we fix this. So we didn't add anything SPF. So we need to do that. So this says that it's a TXT host name. Okay, so we're going to go to Google Storage. 
back to where we were. And we have just these two texts. We don't have the SPF and that's why it's not working. So we're going to add a TXT. We're going to use that at again. And let's see what information it's giving us. Who will watch the video? That's why they have these things, right? So this video is right off of Zoho.com, kind of doing the same thing that I'm doing. So let's see what they do here. Text. I didn't have to watch any videos for the other ones, but I guess maybe this one's a little bit more difficult. Oh. So we're just putting that in there again. That same ditty that was in the other one. No wonder that wasn't working. So let's pause this. Ah. We already have that though, right? So we got this. is the same thing so that can't be it let's keep watching the video did I close the video Try that. Let's keep going with the movie. And so they make it so simple like this that you can just Okay, so let's see what, okay, so this is what we haven't done. So now we're going to click on domains, manage, Okay. Okay, 
So, looks like when it doesn't work, that we have to go down here. And do this one. So we're going to copy it. And we're going to go back to the video. And we're We're just copying all of those for future use. And that's using the IP address there. Okay, so we're just pasting them all together, which they've already done for us. So let's pause this and go over here. And we know we're going to click on this one and replace it with this longer version. We're going to go back into the video. Copy all of that. Go back to GoDaddy like we just did and plug it in. Well, they deleted it. We just wrote over it. Oh, they're deleting them. Uh, I only had the one in there, so I didn't really have to do all of that. Because we saw on my TXT that there was only one for this and one for Google. So now we're going to paste that one in there like we just did. Things like the 600. And there you have it. So let's see if they are saying that there are any more steps. Nope, that's the end of that video. So now that should be working, but we do know that we clicked on it earlier. And sometimes GoDaddy will do a message at the top that says, if you don't click here, then you haven't finished updating so always be careful of that a good way to check is just go to my domains go back to the one that you are working on scroll down to your dns and just see that it is still there so we're going to go to page two and you're also going to want to make sure that the other ones that you erased are not there. So it is because remember we did two of them. So let's go to this one and trash can it. And so now we are back to just having two like we were originally. So then when we go over here. Maybe it's enough time. We'll see. Okay. So if you have added the text record just now, please wait 30 to 45 minutes. And so I don't have that ability right now to do that with you all. I wish I did. But everything should be set up. And you don't have to do every single 
email account that you create separately you just create the user details here if you want to create a group then you create the group there I just did this a moment ago just to test it out um, and I want to look into that a little more because I want to see if you can add people there and create like a newsletter list and keep things going on your newsletter that way but what you would have now would be yourself at your website.com like we did this one influencer uh, it says dot management at ivyflawless.com and you see the other ones that I have here so this is lesson number two using Zoho Zoho mail is free some of their other options are um, pay options for other types of things but the mail as far as I know is totally free the way I use it it's totally free I have the app on my phone and so all my mail comes to me um, custom signatures and everything it works just like a regular email um, app on my phone so this is it and I hope that it helps you to get your business stream aligned and looking professional and save a few dollars if you do please let me know by commenting below and we're going to have something different coming up next week for training so I hope that you've done steps one and two to get your business looking professional and um, I'm going to put a link to Zoho Mail down below and when you refer people to Zoho Mail they don't give you like points or bonuses but what they do do is allow you to get more people in your organization so whatever the original limit is it might be 100 and when someone else signs up with you then you get to add maybe another 20 more mailboxes do not quote me on those two numbers but so if you sign up with Zoho please use my link and thanks again for tuning in I'll talk with you soon